Hello and a very good day to everyone. Today we will discuss a very important topic which is common ENT emergencies. And ENT is divided into ear, nose and throat. For now we will only be talking about ear problems which can come as an emergency and we should not ignore them. As a participant of this uh, lecture we will also see why it is important to focus our ears in a very important manner because they not only help in balance but they also help in hearing so we will start with common ENT emergencies uh, for ear ear emergencies include the pinna the pinna is like this is the pinna the perichondritis auricular hematoma EAC external auditory canal this canal is the external auditory canal here they can be foreign body malignant otitis externa middle ear middle ear is just comprising of area with behind the tympanic membrane and which has the ossicles and the middle ear space so there can be trauma to, to the temporomandibular joint tra trauma to the tympanic membrane acute otitis media acute mastitis and in the inner ear there can be sudden sensorineural hearing loss so these are some of the ENT emergencies that come in a very co common manner first we will talk about foreign body when you see here the foreign body is lodged in the tympanic membrane in the ear canal it can be insect cotton paper organic material small batteries they will call discomfort and agitation and they can cause secondary complications like infection and mucosal erosions foreign body that needs to be removed and they there are several instruments that are there that can be used one is a crocodile forcep other is a blunt hook one is a syringe and last is a vacuum sucker so we have to be very vigilant which foreign body and which instrument to be used next is auricular hematoma when you see auricular hematoma the there is trauma from the auricle uh, in the auricle and there is fluctuant bluish swelling in the auricle it needs to be drained and aspiration and apply compression compression dressing traumatic tm perforation so this is a tympanic membrane which has got uh, hit by some blast injury or instrumentation or by some uh, st uh, so most commonly that we see is a slap on the ear so very careful when you try to do this not like this on the ear because uh, it can cause traumatic perforation of tympanic membrane and you need to observe the treatment the perforation will get smaller in size usually it gets smaller in size and rarely it requires surgery where where tympanoplasty has to be done next is temporal bone fracture so blunt hand injury that can cause temporal bone fracture there can be longitudinal fracture then can be transverse fracture longitudinal fracture will cause facial paralysis that means the face will become jeopardized and facial muscles will get paralyzed transverse fracture will cause sensorineural hearing loss and disequilibrium there can be vertigo and disequilibrium in them in these patients temporal bone fracture one of the sign is the battle sign battle sign is bluish discoloration of the post auricular region there will be raccoon eyes hemotympanum hearing loss dizziness csf otoria and paralysis of the seventh cranial nerve ct temporal bone will help us to diagnose temporal bone fractures acoustic trauma so acoustic trauma is something which is exposed to sudden loud noise supposedly you are in a D, uh, in a pub where there is lot of loud loud noise or dj playing the music at a very high speed and a uh, high loud loud noise and you you see you are hearing that that can cause sudden exposure or there is a blast injury or this this can cause acoustic trauma sudden sensorineural hearing loss and tinnitus is common in acoustic acoustic trauma so we usually give for treatment corticosteroids carbogens vasodilators diuretics anticoagulants and plasma expanders otitic barotrauma otitic barotrauma is inability to ventilate the middle ear and there is abnormal dysfunction of the eustachian tube so this usually happens when we are going at a very high altitude or going under the sea that is scuba diving then the pressure equalization between the tympanic membrane outside and the inside eustachian tube area will not be balanced so that can cause otitic barotrauma and can cause hemotympanum so this is the hemotympanum that can happen blood accumulating in the middle ear barotrauma so 
वायरो ट्रॉमा इज वेन वंस यू आर द सेम थिंग द अकाउटिक ट्रॉमा और द वायरो ट्रॉमा एंड वी ट्रीटेड बाई मायरिंगोटोमी एंड प्रोटिंग अ ग्रोमेटिक इंसर्शन हियर नेक्स्ट इज सडन सेंसल हियरिंग लॉस दिस नीड्स टू बी वेरी वेल अंडरस्टूड बिकॉज वंस सपोजिंगली यूजली वॉट हैपन्स इन दीज पेशेंट्स दे वर स्लीपिंग एंड सडनली वेन दे वेक अप दे सी दैट दे हैव लॉस द हियरिंग दिस इज अ केस ऑफ सडन सेंसल हियरिंग लॉस ऑल्सो सडन सेंसल हियरिंग लॉस विल बी डायग्नोज बाई प्योर टोन ऑडियोग्राम और वेन मोर देन थर्टी डेसिबल्स ओवर थ्री कंटिन्यूस फ्रीक्वेंसीज विद इन थ्री डेज और लेस इज ऑब्जर्व इटियोलॉजी इज वायरल एंड इन्फेक्शियस vascular trauma autoimmune or neurologic complications of middle ear infection inter extracranial it can be divided into intracranial and extracranial extracranial infections are rupture of the tympanic membrane that is otitis externa leading to otitis externa there can be labyrinthitis there can be mastoiditis subperiosteal abscess over mastoid process neck abscess facial paralysis these are the complications for middle ear infection extracranial we will talk about a very common problem that 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 help that happens in we will talk about a very common problem that happens in children and that is acute mastoiditis young children preceded by acute otitis media there will be severe pain fever and edema over the mastoid region and then we have to give intravenous antibiotics and myringotomy and grommet insertion is to be done subperiosteal abscess that means this area there is abscess accumulation there will be pina is pushed down and out intravenous antibiotics ind incision and drainage and mastoidectomy has to be done complications of middle ear infections it can be intracranial when it goes inside the brain when once it is crossing the dura mater it is going cerebral abscess it is outside the dura but in uh, but in the ear uh, that is extra dural abscess there can be subdural abscess there can be meningitis there can be thrombosis of the lateral venous sinus and cerebral abscess so these are the common complications that can happen so the take home message from here is any ear emergency should be taken into well noted and uh, need to be corrected immediately if you prolong any ear, take care of your ears very well if you prolong any problems with with ear it can lead to severe complications thank you